Prince Charming is up in front, as you can see, and we are being towed. I like this. I think I'm going to do safaris like this for more, more often. I don't, I don't want to drive myself. I like to just sort of go at the speed of the car in front of me, and then I can just shine my spotlight and relax a little bit. It's quite lovely. I'm never, ever going to forget this m for my entire life. This has been one of the greatest days I think I've ever had in the bush. And you're all probably thinking that I'm completely loony now. But you know what? It's things like this that really count. It's having those break down. It's getting stuck in a riverbed in the thick sand and having to dig yourself out, use the high lift jack, pack rocks under the tires. It's all of these. car really just made it feel like you were truly in Africa. So yeah, I think that we should maybe all start having flat tires or, well, no, let's not because I don't think the owners and things like that would be too happy if we continued getting punctures and breaking the cars. This was, of course, a complete accident and just one of those things when you take the cars off-road, you obviously run the risk of um, having something like this happen. And it's a thing that happens actually quite regularly, just clipping the, the clutch cable. It is relatively exposed underneath the car. So when you drive through long grass and there are sorts of... Um, uh, branches and things on the way well it can happen I'm normally the queen of clipping the brake uh, the brake line and then I spew the well the brake fluid just spews everywhere right which it yeah I can't now we're trying to, uh. <laughs> no we're gonna try and turn here and this is going to be lots of fun so I'm going to get you all to go back to Shongile and she's def uh, finally decided to stand up